Hello everybody, my name is Gizzy and today we are going to make a very important video for you all. I am going to make this video about the safety of the internet. So, the internet is very important to basically everybody and it actually has created so many opportunity and potential and lives. It's basically changed everyone's life and a lot of people wouldn't be where they are now without the internet. For example, me, a lot of your favorite YouTubers, well basically YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, like so much stuff wouldn't even exist without the internet. But the internet is actually very dangerous as well, so I wanted, you know, as a YouTuber with a huge audience, I wanted to address some ways to keep stay safe on the internet. So, I hope you do enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And also, if you're a YouTuber watching this video, maybe you can actually make your own version of safety on the internet. So, the more people actually watch the video, more people who watch safety on the internet videos, they're more aware of actually staying safe. Or at least share this video or something just to get the message out there. While we're doing the internet thing stuffs, stuffs, I keep saying stuffs, we're going to play the new Halloween horror game uh, on Mindplex. So the first one is scams and hacks. So you have to be very careful when actually clicking links, um, when people send you some stuff, if you get like a dodgy email that does seem a little suspicious, especially in your junk email folder. Um, most of the time that's all viruses and scams, so please be very careful. Next one is passwords. So, coming up back to scams and hacks is that uh, if you make a really strong password, they, it's most likely it'll be very hard for someone to actually get into it. So for example, if you use a password that has like a caps lock, a lower caps lock, numbers, random symbols as well, that always helps. Maybe one day we can use emojis in passwords. Like, there you go. But yeah, basically, if you have like a simple password like dog, then anyone can guess it and just get into it and then hack all your stuff. If you have a very strong password, it's more harder for your stuff to actually get like hacked. Also, there's a lot of websites that have two-step verification as well. So if your passwords do get hacked, you'll get an email to, to confirm that, oh, is this you? And if it's not you, then you just don't click that website and you change your password. So that's really good for websites to now do two-step verification because if you do get hacked, like I know PayPal does it, Twitter does it, Facebook does it, YouTube does it, I think Vine maybe. Next up is when you're buying stuff on the internet, make sure that you're using a website that is very secure and you know this by if you see the the website domain URL, the HTTPS, the S is stand, actually stands for secure. And if it has a padlock symbol next to the URL, that means it's safe. If it doesn't have any of this stuff, be very careful when actually using that website um, because most likely it's going to be a scam. Well, not most likely, but like there's a huge chance that it's going to be a scam. And that's how they get your bank details, information. I recommend using PayPal when using stuff because they're very secure. And if you see the little padlock icon at the top of the screen, that means that it's actually working and it's safe. Next is sharing stuff on the internet. Now, it's a lot of fun. We're in the modern age theme now of like sending pictures to everyone and having a good time, everything's being filmed now, but please be very careful what you actually upload to the internet because if you upload something quite, that's quite embarrassing, it might haunt you in the past. Or if you send like nudity over the internet, it's most likely going to be seen by not just that one person. So please make sure that whenever you're, if you're sending anything to someone, please make sure that it's actually safe and you actually know the person you're sending it to. Do not send images or videos of yourself to people that you don't know. That's the number one, that should have been number one. That's number four, somehow. Number five is going to get antivirus software. So, you probably will eventually one day get a virus on your computer. It's okay, we've, we've all been there. But, if you have an antivirus on it, you can easily get rid of the, um, just get rid of the, the virus. I recommend Norton or Malwarebytes, or there's a lot of other options, I think they will be linked down below in the description. So if you are looking for an antivirus to keep your computer safe, then uh, I'll link a bunch of stuff in the description. Number six is, uh, we kind of addressed this a little bit, is be careful who you are talking to. On the internet there are millions and millions of people that you don't know and it's at the same time fun to meet new people, it's also very dangerous and scary. Sometimes there's people who can say, oh I'm 13 years old, I live across the street from you. Wow, we should be friends. When in reality, they're probably like at least 30, they live probably a couple of miles away, and they just really, they just, you know, there's a lot of scary people on the internet. So please be very careful who you're talking to, make sure you know who you are talking to, especially when like online games, like Minecraft or RuneScape or Warcraft, where you can meet new friends, but you don't, still don't know who they actually are. So just be very careful who you actually talk to on the internet, and uh, please make sure that you get, if you actually decide to meet up with these people in person as well, please make sure you bring a parent with you, 
or you've seen, yeah, just make sure you bring someone with you and you make sure you tell like everyone what's going on. Don't keep it a secret. And if the person tells you to keep it a secret, then it's most likely definitely something that you should avoid. Obviously. Number seven is that there's a block option for a reason. If someone's harassing you or bullying you, please make sure you tell someone that you know personally, like a family member or your friends or a teacher or a police officer that you're being harassed online because it's very serious now. And there's a block option for a reason. If you are being bullied, don't respond back because that actually feeds the trolls, which is a huge saying on the internet. Don't feed the trolls, block them. Number eight is signing contracts. Now, a lot of you guys may, well, actually probably not a lot of you guys know, actually sign a lot of contracts, uh, but for those who do, it, which includes terms and conditions of like iTunes or stuff like that, you know, the long 12 page iTunes like thing, like that's fine. But like when it comes to small companies that send you like a contract to read and sign, please make sure you actually read it and understand the contract 100% before you actually sign it. That goes for anything like um, signing up to a game, to uh, joining a team for like a sponsorship kind of thing. Uh, it just goes by a lot of things. Like if you get given a contract, make sure you read it 100% like fully, fully. Make, maybe sometimes get someone else to look over it as well to make sure that what you're signing is actually what you're supposed to be getting. Because sometimes you could really get screwed over by it. Number nine is actually to take breaks. Now I know this is the internet 2015, who takes breaks on the internet now? It was actually very healthy for you guys to actually go outside. So go outside, <laughs> after this video, of course, like, the, yeah. No, but seriously guys, it actually messes with your mind a lot and it gives you bad eyes and uh, it's just not healthy just to stay inside, just on the laptop or computer, like, all day. It's pretty unhealthy actually, like, of course, come on the internet, be safe, be free, like, listen to these top tips and, but also make sure you actually do stuff out of the internet as well. I know this is a top 10 things to stay safe on the internet, Staying off the internet is also probably safer than being on the internet sometimes. It depends on the situation. So take breaks, make sure you eat regularly, go outside, get some exercise, sleep. Sleep is an important one. And then come on the internet in your free time just to hang out. The beauty of a phone, smartphones is that you can actually go outside and still have the internet. So, I mean, that's always recommended, you know, smartphones and tablets. And the final one is probably to the parents is that there is a parent lock sometimes on a lot of the computers that restricts specific um, websites that a lot of people can't actually get onto unless they had like a password or administrated or so basically it keeps your kids safe a lot safer on the internet so you can set up a parent lock on your computer to stop your kids actually going on like these strange websites that um, your computer would find suspicious and scary and not right or something so that's the tip for your parents uh, so if you want to keep your kids safe on the internet like the internet is a wonderful place where a huge imagination is like roam free and all that, but you have to keep your kids safe as well, of course. So, um, parent lock I recommend on your computers. And that's it for these top 10 tips. I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope I did help out in some way. Um, like I said, if you want to make your own video responding to this with your own top tips on safety on the internet, because the more videos that are made about this, the more people are going to see those videos and remember to stay safe. That's it for me, but I'm Gizzy Gazza, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, peace out. Bye.